Today, I want to talk about life with an electric vehicle and debunk the myth of EVs not being practical. Whether you have a way to charge it at home or not, living with an EV is different than with a gasoline car. But to say that it's not practical, it's a stretch. Living with an EV can be challenging if you don't know anything about it. But once you know the basics, you'll be fine. Let's get to it. Well, like I just said, once you know the basics of living with an electric vehicle, you'll be fine. At least for the majority of people in modern society. This statement is not an opinion. It's a fact based on my own experience. I haven't needed to visit a gas station since May of 2018. Yet, I haven't suffered from being stranded for lack of energy in my EV. And my experience has been nothing short of amazing. I have traveled across the United States a few times and even visited friends in London and Ontario, Canada, driving from here in South Florida. I've been driving long distances in all kinds of weather during my road trips, including extremely low temperatures. Now, I must admit that my good experiences are most likely due to my EV being a Tesla. But it's not because other EVs are not capable of the same driving experience based on their technical specs, but mainly because I can use the best EV charging network out there, the Tesla supercharging network. It allows me to do long trips without fear or concerns. Now, public charging networks like Electrify America, EVgo, and others are already spreading through the United States, but they're not yet as reliable as they should be. This, at least in my opinion, is one of the biggest advantages of owning a Tesla. But at the same time, I am fully aware that if you know how to deal with the issues that you may encounter when using any other public EV charging network, this should not be a deal breaker, at least not for most people, especially if you don't do long trips frequently. But what if you don't do frequent road trips? What if all you need is a car that you can drive in your city for an average of say 50 to 100 miles? Where that's where things get interesting. Whether you own a Tesla or any other EV, if your average driving is about 50 to 100 miles a day, it's easy to justify owning an EV. What are some of the things that you need to consider? Well, do you need an EV with a lot of range? or just enough to drive you around town? Do you need a Tesla? Or can you buy an EV of a different brand? You know me, I am a Tesla fan and for very good reason. Teslas offer enough range with all their models for local and long distance travel. Tesla owners have the advantage of seamlessly using the most reliable EV charging network. But this may soon change since Tesla has already announced that they will eventually open their charging network to other EVs. In fact, they are already running pilot programs in some countries. Okay, this is important, so please pay attention. If you don't have a way to charge at home, for most people, there's a good chance that there's a Tesla charging location not too far from you. I know this is not true for everyone, but bear with me. Remember, the Tesla charging network is not the only way to charge. There are thousands of public charging stations available. They're just not as reliable as Tesla's chargers, but you can use them. The ideal scenario is to have a way to charge at home and plug in when you arrive. Your car will be ready the next day with the battery at the level you need. It will meet your daily driving needs. But if you don't have a way to charge at home, with a bit of planning, you'll soon find yourself with a routine similar to when you used to go weekly or sometimes multiple times a week to the gas station. That is where the myth falls apart. Lots of people think that living with an EV is not practical, mostly because they fear change or they just don't have the right information. Once you understand the relevant differences between an EV and a gasoline car, and you can understand that if you charge at home, you rarely have to wait for your car to charge, you'll be all set. And don't forget, 
If your EV is a Tesla, you will have the best charging network at your disposal, the supercharging network. So there you have it. That was my myth busting rant to debunk the myth that the majority of missing for people think that having an EV is not practical. So with that, I thank you for your visit. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on. I hope you join me in the next one. Gracias. Hasta luego.